It's really bad right now. That was Del Rio. It's really, really bad right now. That was over 300 people there. They were trying to get a hold of the women and children. The men were trying to force their way through. And I realized that this is, see, this is what happens. My job is to be interesting. Now, yes, obviously we love to inform on this show uh, because I care passionately about this stuff. But ultimately, my job is to interest you. You got a million and one options right here on the remote. A million and one. You choose to sit down with the first TV. And obviously, that's awesome. Not that I blame you, but in all seriousness, it's my job to be interesting. And if we hit on the same t- topic, night after night after night after night, it gets drowned out. But I'm not going to let this go. The United States of America, wrap your mind around this. The United States of America is being remade. We don't. We don't have a border problem now. This has gone way beyond a border problem. The United States of America is being remade. Have you seen the numbers we're talking about here? Have you seen them? Nearly 189,000 people, this is just for June, were stopped at the border, making it 790,000 since President Biden changed Trump's policies. Crossings up 450% from last year, now at a 21-year high, the, the Customs and Border Patrol seized over a 1,000 pounds of fentanyl. That's more than the last three Junes combined. Let's unpack all that for a moment. Let's start with the back part of it. Fentanyl. Fentanyl is poison. You see all these overdose, overdose deaths we are sadly struggling with here in the United States of America. Fentanyl is involved in many, 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 many of those. They sprinkle the garbage in normal drugs. I mean, if there are normal drugs. And drugs people normally take. And one second you're here, and the next second you're gone. It's murdering Americans. And I can't stress this enough, because the same thing is going to apply when I get to the numbers of people they're catching. That's what they're catching. That's not what's coming in. What they're catching is significantly, significantly less than what's coming in. Do you know the numbers I'm hearing about how many people are going to be welcomed into the United States of America this year? Do you have any idea what that number is? Because remember, they're not keeping them down there. They don't want any more detention facility, you know, concentration camp talk. So what they're doing, instead of securing the border, they're just doing the whole matador thing and just waving them all through. Three million. Three million. That's 1% of the U.S. population. If the Biden administration continues its insane open border policies for all four years of the Biden-Harris presidency, and every indication right now is that they will. There's no indication they're going to crack down on the border at all. If they continue these policies for all four years, Well, I went to community college, but three, uh, carry the one. That's 12 million more people brought into the United States of America. That's remaking 4% of the population in four years. That's not sustainable. That's a flat-out attempt at bringing down the United States. There's not a second way to look at it. There's not a compassionate way to look at it. There's not a, well, I mean, maybe there's some middle ground way to look at it. That's an attempt to destroy the United States of America. So I know it can get monotonous when we talk about the border, and I'm going to move on. I'm not going to stop talking about it. They're remaking our country on purpose. We must stay on it. Hey, thanks so much for watching The First on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me. Like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me. Thanks.